When I was a child visiting Los Angeles, a big mysterious city to me, I saw a police officer commit a crime. Now, it was a very small crime. Back in the day, you put a quarter in the newspaper, vending machine, whatever you call it, the little box, and you take a paper. It's on the honor system. And you're not supposed to take more than one. So I saw a cop put his quarter in and take three newspapers out for the price of one. And being a naive little kid, I was shocked. I was witnessing a policeman breaking the law. And I said something to him about it. And he showed me his badge so that I could get his bad num badge number. And he told me to report him. And of course I never did because I was 11 years old. But that shock in seeing a cop break the law for a stupid thing, I get it. But I believed in police and the law. And that was a shocking moment for me. That was a breaking of a certain level of innocence. And now that I have become involved in this movement to bring awareness to the world about the cult of Scientology, I've seen the police not enforcing the law, selectively enforcing the law, showing favoritism to one side over another consistently. And most recently, I've encountered roadblocks when trying to get information from the office of my local congressional representative. When it comes to Scientology, there's something weird in the air. There are procedures that are not being followed. Official procedures. There are powerful people not taking action or taking action against the good side but ignoring the crimes of the evil side. And since Scientology is just a microcosm of the evil, the rot in our society, and since an organization like Scientology cannot exist without certain levels of corruption, we realize that the only thing that works is the disinfectant of public scrutiny and maybe even public shaming at times. Now, it would be easy for it not to be this way. It would be easy for nobody have to do this kind of thing if police officers actually wanted to follow the law and if that was their interest, if politicians yearned to have an amazing country rather than the next step up the political ladder, if people really cared about each other, I know, what a naive dream then amazing things could happen. And organizations like Scientology would be impossible to maintain in that environment. I believe the world is changing. I believe the internet is helping us to shine a light on people 
and organizations that have depended on our ignorance for their very survival. So the internet is making it impossible for organizations like Scientology and the corruption that backs up those organizations with either complicity or silence, which, let's face it, is also complicity. The internet is not good for Scientology and its backers. And the sooner they realize that, and the sooner they get on the right side of history, the sooner we'll all get to quit talking about that. But until then, we will continue daily until it ends, until enough people wake up and until the tyranny, the corruption, and the abuse are no longer even possible. That's what we're trying to do here, and we're going to do it, and the internet is helping out. So please support all of the content providers that are doing this work, because we are doing it for everybody. Thank you very much for listening. This is Davey Mismanage.